Hey, what's going on, Facebook? Coming at you real quick, and I am going to try to make this, like, really quick. Two things I want to share with you today. One is going and emphasizing something that I talked about in the previous video. And then I want to share with you what I consider to be probably the most powerful disclaimer that the government actually requires certain companies to use. Probably two disclaimers. But one, I mean, listen, when you, under, when you really understand what this disclaimer is saying, it could change your life. But before we do that, I talked about something in the previous video, and I want to kind of expand on that with another acronym, obviously, um, and give it to you in a way that hopefully it'll stick and you can remember it, right? So I'm going to jump on that real quick, and then I'm going to get to the disclaimer. I'm trying to jump in here and then jump out real quick. like. All right, so let me go ahead and pull up my pad real quick. All right, boom. Now, you already know what the acronym is. It's DEAR. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Dear Abby. Dear John Letter. Just dear, right? Uh, so not dear as in dear meat, but dear. But let's get to it, all right? So um, we have our D, right, that goes all the way over to our what? Our hour. Make sure it's showing up, right? Cool. Now, remember what I was talking about, right? One of the things I was talking about is what it is we ultimately desire. We have all these different desires and we're looking to get the results to match what it is we desire, right? But what is the one thing that I, I brought out? I should have emphasized it more, but I'm gonna emphasize it now. When we're looking to move our life forward to produce very specific results, the thing that we have to take into consideration is our expectations, right? Because remember what I said, when what you desire and what you expect to happen collide, if they're not the same, your expectations are going to win every single day. Now, why is that? Because, and this completes the deer, we don't act based on our desires. We act based on our expectations. So what's going to happen is these results are going to be matching pretty much what we expect to happen. I want you to think about this. Somebody that's expecting to lose is never going to play to win. You understand what I'm saying? If you're expecting to lose, you're never really going to play to win. So remember this and keep this in mind. Your limitations are directly correlated with your expectations because we tend to set our own limitations, right? I can't do this, I can't do that, and all these different things. And they're just still, whether you believe you can or you can't, they're both a part of our imagination. They're both a part of our imagination. But many of us, we use our imagination in betrayal of ourselves because we imagine that we can't, we imagine the worst case scenarios, and we imagine all the different things that we don't want to have happen, which goes against what it is we say we desire which creates this inner conflict and this inner chaos. So you're trying to produce these certain results, but it's hard to produce those results when what you're acting on are your expectations and not what it is you desire. Now, real quick, and then I'm going to come out of this and um, go into the disclaimer. Now, I think I talked about this in an, another video, but let me just put this on here real quick, right? So what we have is we have our past, we have our present, and then we have the future. Now, we know in the past, we have no control. We have no control over what's happened in our past. In the future, we don't really control, but we can influence it. But we influence it from the area of control, which is our present, because this is all we have right now, right? We, this is it. This is what we got. So what we're doing today is going to have a, a certain level of influence on our future. Not total control over it, but influence it. But there's nothing we can do about the past. All right, so that's it right there. That's your dear, right? What it is you desire and the results that you're getting are not really going to match what you desire if what you desire is not in alignment with your expectations. Why? Because we act based on what we expect to happen. People expecting to lose are not acting to win. They're not playing the game to win. All right, so let me pull up out of this real quick, and then I want to jump on the disclaimers, and then I'll be out of your hair, out of your eyelashes, out of whatever it is that I'm in right now. But listen, check it out. 
right? So anybody that's in the futures and commodities and stock market, forex market, or whatever, and you provide signals. Listen, I learned about this disclaimer the hard way for anybody that knows my uh, my story. But here's the thing. One of the things that the government requires every single product or service in that industry to have on their website is that past performance is not indicative of future results. Now, I want you to think about that. Past performance is not indicative of future results. So let's now remove that from out of futures and commodities and Forex and all this other stuff, even cryptocurrencies. And think about your life, your past performance, whatever didn't work, relationships, business, money, learning, weight loss, whatever it is, whatever it is that didn't work, that is not an indicator that it won't work in the future. Think about that. Our past performance is not an indicator of our future results. Now, another thing, uh, there's a testimonial disclaimer. Now, this goes for pretty much anything that you're using. And the disclaimer kind of goes along the lines that that's that person's results. Your results may vary. Right now, let's take that disclaimer and point that to people who we look at and maybe they didn't achieve something. They didn't succeed in MLM. They didn't succeed in a franchise. They didn't succeed with weight loss, marriage, whatever it is. That's their results, not yours. But we tend to go through our life, right? And we'll look at our past and we'll look at other people to try to get a gauge on what we can expect for ourselves. As if your genetic makeup, your genetic engineering is somehow linked performance wise to what somebody else does, what somebody else thinks, what somebody else feels. And that's not true unless you allow it to be that way. So one of the things I want to leave you with is we, we want to disconnect from consulting our past performance to try to figure out how we're going to perform in the future. And we want to disconnect from looking primarily at the negative production and the negative results of other people thinking that because they did not produce great results, that we're probably not going to produce great results either. All right. And those things are under our own control. We can control what we're looking at and then what we're extracting from it. Remember that. Our, uh, I think Heather had posted something on, on, on Facebook based on the, the quote that I, I put up yesterday, right? You don't have evidence. You can't do it. You only have evidence. You haven't done it yet. And the thing that I put on there, and I don't know if you've read it, is that many of us, we, 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 we misinterpret, right? We, we kind of hurt ourselves because we're looking at the fact that we haven't done it yet. And we're, 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 we are deciding that because we haven't done it yet, that that is somehow evidence that we can't do it. That is a misinterpretation of a known fact. It is an absolute fact that you haven't done it yet. But what is not a fact is that you can't do it. Remember a video I did called The Fog Fact, Opinion, and Guesses? The fact is you haven't done it yet. It is only your opinion to your own detriment that you can't do it based on the fact that you haven't done it yet. Right? So what does all this mean? All this means, man, listen, this game of life it's a mind game, man. It's a mind game. Other people are trying to get in your head. Spirits are trying to get in your head. Music is trying to get in your head. Television is trying to get in your head. So many different things are trying to take up your head space. Many of us don't even know who we are. Many of us don't even know if what we're desiring right now is what we really want or, is, or, 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 or have I somehow been manipulated into wanting this thing? Listen, you want to guard your mind because that's the biggest battlefield. That is, the, that is where you want to win or lose in the game. Remember, I, I, I don't know if I put this quote up. I know I say it often, but I just leave you with this. You'll never change what's in your hands until you change what's in your head. All right, Facebook. Deuces.